This past Tuesday night, two political events took place simultaneously and served to give us a glimpse of the November contest between President Donald Trump and the eventual Democratic Party nominee. The contrast could not have been more stark. In Milwaukee, President Trump held one of his signature rallies to a packed house at the University of Wisconsin Panther Arena, and with untold numbers standing outside, unable to get in, the president rocked the house. Wisconsin, you will recall, was at one time considered one of the bulwarks of the Blue Wall, a sure thing in the Electoral College for the Democratic candidate. So sure of Wisconsin was Hillary Clinton that she never bothered to campaign there. But Donald Trump did, and he promised to bring back jobs and improve the lot of working-class voters. Judging by Department of Labor data and the reaction of the crowd in Milwaukee Tuesday, it is promise made, promise kept. Though the Democrats are holding their convention in Milwaukee this summer, it's very likely that Wisconsin will again go for Donald Trump. Meanwhile, in Des Moines, Iowa, the Democrats were holding a snooze fest, trying to pass itself off as a candidate debate. CNN ran and moderated the debate and predictably tossed Nerf balls and marshmallows at the candidates rather than substantive questions. The only real debate if you could dignify it with that label, centered on just how much further the government should stick its nose into our health care. Pulsating electric energy in Milwaukee, sleepy, predictable leftist policy pablum in Des Moines. If this past Tuesday is any indication of November, it won't even be close. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.